Good morning, class 12th biology students. Uh, this is the second part of the lecture on evolution from chapter 8. In the first part of the last lecture, I talked about the evidences of evolution from paleontology, where we concluded with types of fossils. Today, we will see some more aspects of fossils and their contribution to the study of evolution. How do we do the computation or calculation of the age of a fossil? Now the age of a fossil is determined by analyzing the radioactive substances present in the rock from which the fossil was recovered. For example, Uranium is transformed or changed into lead slowly. One million grams of uranium produces 17,600 grams of lead in one year. So, by estimating the amount of lead in a rock, its approximate age can be calculated. Likewise, radioactive carbon dating method is extensively useful to determine the age of a fossil. Let us come to the most recent. The most recently used method used to determine the age of the fossil is by noting the time for transformation of radioactive potassium to argon and rubidium to strontium. This has been used for dating fossil bearing rocks of any age and type. Isotopes with longer half life periods are of great significance in such calculations. Let me quickly remind you of what half-life is. The time it takes for one half of the atoms of an unstable element to decay radioactively into another element is called half-life. Having said that, let me throw some light on mass extinctions how mass extinctions took place on the face of the earth. Extinction is the permanent loss of all members of a species. Over last billion years, many plants and animal species evolved but became extinct at a uniform pace. You all know some of the well-known examples which are extinct now, like dinosaurs, saber-toothed tigers, and the flightless bird dodo, which are extinct species now. Let us look at the geological time scale, which is found on page 295. The geological time scale tells the whole span of the Earth's history. This is from the time over 350 million years ago. On the basis of time, the geological history of the earth has been divided into five eras, which are namely Archeozoic, Proterozoic, Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic. 
each era includes several periods each period is further divided into epoch or epoch if we pronounce it that way each period listed on the geological time scale on pages 297 and 298 gives you an idea of the age of the fossils these fossils were found so many millions of years before as listed in each of the periods in the geological time scale represented here each epoch shown in the diagram on page 295 295 and page note 297 also shows the kind of animals and the kind of plants and how these evolved over 350 million years from primitive unicellular forms to the present multicellular or advanced forms we will continue our lecture of the 8th chapter in the next video when we will see part 3 of the series of videos till then take care of yourselves thank you